For the first time ever, an American president is set to fully recognize the Armenian genocide. President Biden's move is drawing praise from the American Armenian community. Turkey continues to reject the claim of genocide. K Hill 9 political reporter Tom Waite is here live with this landmark move. Tom. Yeah, such a dramatic decision and important to so many people here in the LA community. For the American Armenian community, this is a long time coming and just one part of the healing process. Leaders here say the community says this is an important moment for human rights. For the Armenian people, the genocide was not something that began and ended in 1915 and 1923. During those years, Turkish troops killed 1.5 million Armenians. Armenians say it was mass murder orchestrated by the government, and the victims were not simply casualties of World War One. While genocide recognition is a, an, an important, a commendable, momentous first step towards justice, uh, it is just the first step. Sure. Armenian Americans have been marching for decades for acknowledgement of what happened in 1915. President Biden would be the first American president to fully acknowledge the genocide, joining dozens of other countries that already do. The House and Senate last year both passed resolutions to formally recognize it. While it's been reported President Biden will make his announcement this weekend on the 106th anniversary, his press secretary would not reveal any details. I certainly understand the question, and there's a great deal of interest in this particular topic. Um, uh, but I don't, I'm not going to get out of the president, and I also don't have anything else to provide from the podium today. We offered the L.A. Turkish consulate a chance for an interview. He declined, instead releasing a statement that reads in part, Turkey rejects the categorization of the events of 1915 as genocide. Furthermore, there is no judgment of a competent international court which classifies the events of 1915 as genocide. The consul general also said, biased portrayal of this historical period undermines reconciliation and dialogue by creating a confrontational atmosphere. USC professor Stephen Smith, the executive director of the Shoah Foundation of Visual History and Education, specializes in genocide studies. Denial is the third act of genocide. First of all, there is the pre-genocide when there is ideology that attacks a person, you know, a group of people. Then there's the actual genocide, the physical killing of that group of people, and then there is the denial of it. And we have been party to the denial of the Armenian genocide for you know, 100 years right now. We asked the Armenian National Committee about the Turkish consul statement. We were told the group does not entertain any denial of this well-known historic fact. Southern California is home to more people of Armenian descent than anywhere outside of Armenia. Tonight, this reaction in Glendale. I'm so glad that someone finally in America is acknowledging the fact that it happened because stuff like the Holocaust happened, they acknowledge that. Professor Smith says this is about the court of history and it's about the dignity of knowing that history is finally being acknowledged. Sarah, back to you. Tom, thank you so much for that report.